Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to take a look in on the Red Wigglers. So this is the bin that was started recently. Uh, the you know the middle child bin. And let's take a look in on them. And this is just the order that they're stacked in, so no real reason for it. I uh, should have watched the video because then I would know where possibly the worms are going to be. And now I put these off to the edge because the tomato peels and things like that don't usually get a lot of love. Maybe I fed down the middle. Still got a lot of uh, springtail uh, action happening here. Okay, there we go. We have some melon. So that has kind of got everybody excited. I'm going to flip everything over. Well, that's good. Everybody looks happy. We're getting a lot of brand new baby worms. Look at all those babies. That's good. Yep. So they're not slowing down the breeding uh, this time of year. The red wigglers don't care what the temperature is. I mean, right now it is uh, 65 degrees in the basement, 44% humidity, and they're acting just about like they always do. So that's good because the food does not stop piling up in the winter. It's good that they're keeping going. So I'm going to gather up their old food. Looks like the moisture staying good. We'll just keep stashing the old peels and, and whatnot over there in the corner. They'll get around to it someday. So good concentration of worms. They're breeding good. And even though there are springtails in here, I am trying not to be fussed about it. Uh, because honestly, they're there to do a job just like the worms are. And so I'm just going to uh, pretend like they're not there. Which is easy if I don't put my readers on. <laughs> and kind of see them a little bit, but we'll just, we'll not, you know, mess with that too much. All right, well, these guys have finished up most of their food. And, uh, yeah, looks like they're doing good. We've incorporated all the wet stuff. So let's give them some new food. I'm not going to give them any new bedding. They're still doing okay on bedding here. So they're going to get some pumpkin. And this has been frozen. So that should uh, they should make quick work of that. So let's bury that. And then I will go get the next Red Wiggler bin. Okay, here is the brand new bin that we just made the last time. So let's see how these guys are doing. So I'm really not seeing the springtails this time. They're all kind of. I don't remember where I fed. But we'll just keep flipping around. I mean, you can tell they're already making castings, and it's only been a couple of weeks. The red wigglers really do a really amazing job in the wintertime. Uh, looks like there's some peels of something here. I think it's been about close to two weeks uh, since the last time we looked in on these guys. Oh, okay. Well, got a worm ball in the banana peel. So that's good. Not sure if that was a whole banana or just the peel, but they they do love their banana, even if it does take them a while to to get through all of the the peels. Let's see, so not really a full worm ball, but not bad. It's a brand new bin. I think we put about a pound of worms in here. Kind of just breaking up the paper making sure that it gets coated so the worms can get in there. So for being a new bin, I think they're doing pretty good. They, uh, you know, they didn't have all the same microbes and everything that a more established bin would have. So, 
you know, it, they're going to take a little bit longer to get through their food just because they don't have as much of the biology built up in the bin. So let's see what's going on in this corner. Okay, so, okay, more banana worm peel. Worm peel? No, banana peel with the worms. I should probably just go have more tea or something. But okay, so they've all managed to be over in the pocket with the banana peels. That's good. And I don't know if this, oh, hot dog bun. Yeah, I remember the hot dog bun. You can tell by the pretty blue mold. Giving the worms a shot of penicillin. There you go. You guys will be protected from the flu or the cold. Or so we'll put, put all the stuff back over in this corner here. It's not really an intentional pocket feeding. I'm just trying to keep all the older food together. They can continue working on that and we'll just feed over here on the other side. And that way it can have time to, you know, age a little bit before they have to get into it. So let's get them something. Okay, so another frozen pumpkin, courtesy of Cece. And we'll just uh, make sure that that's nice and covered and uh, the worms can move over there and hopefully we'll have an amazing worm ball next time. But they're doing good. Okay, well, let's get the oldest of the red wiggler bins. Okay, here is the oldest red wiggler bin. Seeing a lot, a lot of springtails here. Probably gonna maybe let this start drying out. I'm willing to bet that it'll it'll be ready to, to harvest here pretty soon. Let's see if we can find where I fed. I see like the banana peel sticking out over here, so let's look over here and see if that's where it was. Alright, we're getting there. Okay, so not a nice wound up worm ball, but they certainly are having fun with those banana peels getting pretty wet in here. I'm going to probably leave the lid off of this one if I want to harvest it anytime soon. So what do I got here? Napkin. Not really sure. Definitely the banana peels. Get them over there. I think maybe it might be time to start migrating these guys. See if I can't encourage them to start moving to one end of the, the bin here. Get them some some bedding and hopefully they will do it on their own. See what else we've got going on. Yeah, the worms seem to be all over the place and it's probably because there's a lot of moisture in here. Lots of little tidbits of leftovers from previous feedings that they're still finding enjoying. Okay. Oh, mango. And all the peanut shells. I think these are kiwi skins. It's weird. <laughs> all right. So yeah, there's just worms everywhere. Worms, worms everywhere. Okay, well, seems like they're doing good, but I am going to start, and I'm going to give them some bedding over on the side where the food is. I'm just going to try and get these guys lumped up over here, and then we'll start migrating them to that side that already has the food. I think that would be easiest. Just take the everything I can get my hands on and move it over. I think the busier I get, the more I see the wisdom in uh, the migration method. 
Let me get them some some new bedding. Okay, this is just my regular prepared bedding. I'm just gonna kind of incorporate the food a little bit. I'm gonna give them just a little bit more food. Something fresh, something fast. So let's give them a little bit of pumpkin. Probably should have put the pumpkin in first. Tuck that in. There we go. A little more bedding. Because I am going to leave the lid off of this one so that these can start drying. Yeah, that'll work. Hopefully in a couple of weeks this will they will have moved out on their own. And that'll be good for me. So if you're interested to see more of my Red Wiggler videos, then I do have a playlist that is all Red Wigglers. And I will post that below. If you want to see what happened the last time? I can put that above. And if you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.